today here at RC View, we are going to open up the FMS Hummer H1 and show you what's underneath the body. You know, is it any good? Is it upgradable? Is you know, is it? Can you modify it? You know, we'll we'll, we'll and how easy it is to take the body off. All right, all right. Here it is. It took us about ten minutes to figure out how to take the body out. So it's just six bolts that you need. Little bolts like this that hold the body to the chassis. Um, but when you try to pull it out, it just wasn't quite there. So what's happening is a lot of the uh, wires were glued to the chassis just to keep them out of place of this guy. So you have to take out all these little little glue, hot glue gun uh, units. So here it is. So basically the receiver and the light controller, receiver, ESC, light controller are in are part of the body. And then the motor obviously is here. And then the seven servos or six servos are in the chassis. So pretty cool, huh? Uh, so there's six servos in the chassis and one servo in the body, okay? So why don't I turn it on and uh, show you guys a little bit. Can you guys tell me what the seven servos are for? Mm -hmm. So boom, turn this on, this is the remote. By the way, I did a review unboxing of this vehicle right here. Click on that, very informative. Very revealing, but I think a lot of you guys are now wondering, okay, but what, what, what can I do with that? What can I, up, can I upgrade it or whatever? So boom, turn it on. This is just a hubcap, just pop it off. And then there's just a standard uh, hex in there, uh, standard nut, and then a hex. So we did try to put in a, a bigger wheel, but it is gonna be an issue. There's just not a lot of space. So you need a big, you can put a probably bigger, put a bigger wheel that is uh, narrow as well. When it's wide, it sticks out of the body. Uh, and then what we're really interested in is increasing the tr or lifting it, increasing the travel. And so far, we haven't found a way uh, to, do, to do that. Uh, the, uh, the IFS, the, the, lo the lower link and the upper link kind of limit the travel. And the shock is super small. Um, that even if you got a longer shock, it's not going to increase the travel. Okay? So, there you go. What else do I need to tell you before I give you a demonstration? So a lot of servos. Let's see. So one servo in the body for the steering, because the steering wheel does turn. And then a servo uh, in the front for, 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 for your steering, front steering. A servo in the rear for rear steering. Okay, And then a servo for the two-speed. Two-speed is one side of the motor and then the uh, the two-wheel drive four-wheel drive is another one so that's five and then locking diff locking the front locking diff rear so that's seven seven servos plus the ESC so it's basically really eight channel uh, not eight channel uh, seven channel because you're using um, some of these are shared but there it is nice nice little I think a lot of servos are metal geared Okay, but let me just show you the operation. But it's really cool. I think what we, what we, it revealed to us when we took it out was this engine transmission unit is, is a beauty. It's just, wow. You have a little engine here with a spinning fan, but it's a piece of genius. There's a 380 motor in there. You can, I can probably upgrade that if I needed. But on one side is, and then it's got the, the transmission right here. So it's so scale. And it sits right in the middle. The engine is right in the middle of the two passengers, like, just like the real Hummer. So cool. And now it's two-wheel drive. So this is normal operation. That engine fan is so cool. Too bad you can't normally see it. It really needs to be shown to the world. And right there, switch it oh, to oh, two-wheel drive. That's, uh, neutral, huh? Oh, I like that. Open dips. So yeah, that's the middle. Four-wheel drive again. Very nice, smooth drive drain. Switch to four-wheel steering. Front. 
and we'll There's reverse the now parallel steer. steering and now that's rear wheel steering wheel steer. and back to front wheel steering locking this locked uh -huh. close diffs on the front open diffs and then lights so the front and rear diffs act at the same time and the lights all right so there you guys go what do you guys think so pretty cool huh um i don't know what to do with it definitely we're going to look for a sound unit i think orlando has one that's super tiny uh, that way this thing has sound i'm going to try to put some uh, bigger tires on it um and you know I'm not sure i can figure out how to lift it gotta may maybe give it to the professor randy and uh see what he can do but he already wants to rip out this engine and put it on on something like a toyota pickup or something <laughs> all right thanks a ton everybody